Right, so today um, we're basically flushing the SATAG system that I've fitted. Um, now it's a micro ball system, um, and we're actually going to be using these magnet cleansers. Right, normal power flushing doesn't really work very well on micro ball. Um, these are perfect. However, magnet cleanse, what they actually say is that you should use the boiler pump um, to obviously force the water around the system. Now, last thing you want to do in my eyes is put sludge through a system um, that obviously you've just fitted. So, what I've done is I've actually come up with this little system. Um, I've basically put two pumps together, just old pumps that we had in the van. One of them's cavitating a little bit at the moment, probably a bit of air. Um, now what these will do, um, before I forget, there should actually be some non-return valves here, purely because if one of these pumps have got slightly better head than the other, it'll just basically flow around each other, as opposed to like this. So these pumps are in parallel, so it'll give more flow, as opposed to more head. If they're in series, they give more head. Right, so what they do is, if we look here, they're connected onto the, the flow of the system. Boiler valves are actually turned off so they can't go through the boiler. It then goes up there and across to obviously the radiator circuit. Um, so basically, it pumps up there, up there, through the radiators, comes all the way back down this line, through into the magnets, back through, back out through that hose, back up to the pump, and then back around the system again. Right, so basically when you're flushing um, a central heating system, you need to do each radiator individually. And what that does is it allows for all the flow from them pumps that we showed you earlier on downstairs to go through each individual radiator, and it clears any sludge which builds up around the bottom of the radiator there. And the way we do this is we actually turn the lock shield valve off. And you do that by turning this clockwise until it stops. And that will then obviously isolate the radiator. So if you do that for every single radiator in the house, and then once you've turned them all off, go back to the one upstairs and turn one radiator on and flush that radiator for about 20 minutes. Um, we usually give them, well, we use an agitator. But on these ones, they're actually quite old and I don't want to use it. So what we do is, if you usually get a white rubber mallet um, and just give it a bang on the bottom of the radiator. And what that does is it actually loosens any sludge up that's um, settling on the bottom. And then obviously the, um, the pumps will then pick that up. Okay, so once you've actually done that run radiator for about 20 minutes, you need to do is turn off the pump. So obviously they're now off. Isolate the return valve and open up the return valve on the boiler. Now what this is going to allow us to do is turn the filling loop on. Now I just turn it on slowly. Now you'll see here I've actually on the magnet lens we have another hose connection which connects on there. If we open that, what it does is it allows the mains water which you're pushing into the system via the filling loop, which is here. So we'll open that fully now. Now what that's doing is actually pushing the water from the mains up through the return. So it'll go right up through the return, through the radiator, do one big loop, come back down backwards through the flow, obviously the pumps are off now, back through the magnet cleanse, any gunk which is in the radiator will get caught in the first magnet, and then obviously it will return back out then through the mains, and as you can see there, what it's doing is it's actually flushing the chemicals out the system, which is pretty good. And then you do the same again, so you basically turn the valves back on, turn the filling loop back off, turn that radiator back off that you've just been to, and then from there, 
you go to your next radiator and flush exactly the same. But you leave this phone until that's running clear. And then you can check out your TDS meter and what have you, check your pieces are correct. You want to make sure you get all this out of your system as it's acid. Cheers.